Welcome back to What Are Team Noobs with General Disturbance. Yes, you're looking at a team clash battle between Des Games and Skill 4 LTU. And well, this is a WYSI 111 Model 5A, and I'm driving it on the, the team of Des Gamers. Um, I hope I pronounced his names correctly. Des Games? Yep, well, battle's about to start. Now, I haven't actually been playing Team Clash that much, and, well, I decided I'd have a go anyway. Um, the Wizzy 111 is quite good. It's got a 13cm gun with 490 Alpha, which is slightly better than some of the 122mm guns you come across. And it's also very tough at the front. It looks a bit like a uh, T10 in some ways, but, um, yep, it's a good tank. So, as you can see here, I'm rolling with the pack. And uh, I think that Object 140 is probably going to peel off to the left. But I'm going to stick with that Object 277 and see if I can assist him. Yep, there goes the Object 140. He's decided to follow the Leopard 1 around the corner. And seeing as this is an encounter game, it's really about, well, just trying to take down as many of the enemies as you can and push them. They've got somebody in the cap, but that's not really going to help them that much. Well, we've reached the encounter area. I'm waiting for somebody to turn up. And somebody does turn up. I fire a quick round in, but don't penetrate the opposite number. So, I've got a reload. 10.74 seconds. Okay, we're loaded. Ready to go. Standard AP. Waiting for one of them to come around the corner, forming a line. Okay, get a lovely shot there into the cheeks of the T-57 Heavy. Pull back to reload. Don't want him to unload all his shells into me. Pulling forward. Didn't work that time round. Fired a heat round at the Wizzy 11 Model 5A, but didn't connect in the right place. Okay, I know a lot of people are saying you don't need to use heat, but you'd be surprised the amount of premium rounds being fired in this, these games. Okay, so I'm going to push forward, see if I can catch one of them. It's the white Wizzy, put a round right up his rear, 535, high roll. Okay, it looks like he's in trouble, he's retreating because his teammates have pulled back. So I'm going to go straight after him, put another one into him, 518. And my teammate in 277 takes him down. Now I'm going to use the wreck for cover. And try and pull back and get shots into his teammates. There's a super conk. Try one into his side, but it's the wrong angle. Didn't work. But the object 277 gets around into the super conk. So I'm going to try and poke my nose around and see lower plate. Yes, get one in that time. 508. And the super conk goes down. Okay, well, it looks like the enemy's in a lot of trouble now. And that T-57 Heavy is running away. I put one into his autoloader. Right into the magazine at the back. And I'm going to chase him now and see if I can ram kill him. Take that, you beast. There you go. Takes him out of the game with a ram kill. Between a rock and a hard place. We lose the... Or the, the enemy loses their whizzy. And there goes the Progetto. So there's only two enemies left now. Just... Trying to work out where they are. One's a Progetto 65, the other one's an Object 268. Well, at this rate, we're going to cap out fairly quickly. So they better make a, a stand or a show, or we're going to cap. Well, the Progetto's turned up, so I think I'll probably take a poke. Got teammates leaving the cap to. Uh, Ensure that they can get shots. That's it. Pulling up. There's the object 268. Didn't get that one in. And looks like we're going to cap out. Yep, we have capped out. So it's a victory. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well... Not a bad game. Um, my win 8, well, it's not available actually. Data are unavailable. Uh, but let's have a look at the uh, team score. 
Well, you can see I didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the Jagdpanzer E100. It's got 2,783 hit points, whilst I picked up 2,735 and the Object 277 got 2,538. When it came to kills, it was the Object 277 did the best. He got two kills, the Jagdpanzer got one, so did I. And when it came to base XP, I got the best. 839 for me, 835 for the Leopard 1, 826 for the Object 277. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine shots fired, eight direct hits, five penetrations, and damage of 2,735 hit points all at close range. I received one hit. It was a non-penetration, so that was a shot from the Wizzy 111 Model 5A on the enemy team who bounced off my hull when we were uh, coming to close counters, uh, close encounters in the um, uh, brawling area. 490 hit points of damage blocked, one enemy vehicle spotted, three enemy vehicles damaged, one killed, and 170 hit points of damage assistance. I also got 31 cap points whilst I was capping. On a free play account, on that occasion, 31,092 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, I actually made a loss. 4,656 credits and the reason was that yes I'm afraid I did fire too much heat and uh, that's why um, uh, some of the players are actually advising people not to fire heat fire AP because you can still get the penetrations especially if you're shooting at the rear of an enemy and they're running away 839 base XP times two for the first victory same again for personal reserve took away 2517 altogether so yes i have become rather addicted and although this account i'm probably not going to be playing this one again on the game you might see me in fork u2 or the other account which of course is general disturbance so uh, do watch out you might see me about thanks for watching